welcome to another episode of my Fab or Flop series where I scour the internet looking for organizing hacks, cleaning hacks, and maybe even craft hacks. And I put them to the test to see if they are truly a fabulous idea or a flop of an idea. Now in this particular episode, I am going to test out a craft hack. And it is a craft hack that took the internet by storm back in December of 2019. And I wanted to test it out then, but I ran out of time. So, here I am a year later. I'm going to put it to the test because I am dying to see if it really works as well as I saw all over YouTube and Pinterest and Facebook. Now this hack involves using simple plastic coat hangers and creating beautiful snowflake holiday decor for your home. Now what this hack entails is using 16 of these hangers to make one snowflake. It's a gigantic snowflake you make out of these. And then some of them even showed using the little children's hangers to make smaller snowflakes. They're really cute, so I wanted to give it a try. Now many of these sites highlighted the Dollar Tree hangers. I think they said they could get seven hangers for a dollar, which is a really great deal. However, this particular hack takes 16 hangers which would mean you'd have to buy three packs of those hangers at the Dollar Tree to make one snowflake. So when I was at Walmart, I scouted out their hangers and I got a set of 10 of these plastic hangers for only $1.17. And the kids' hangers, I got a package of 10 hangers and they were only a dollar. So if you need to get 16 of these hangers to make one snowflake, you're definitely gonna get a better buy. I think it comes out to $2.34 at Walmart, where it would have been $3 at the Dollar Tree. So the better deal definitely comes from Walmart when you're getting the hangers. Okay, the only other thing you need for this hack, aside from 16 hangers, are some of these zip ties. Now I got them in two different sizes from Walmart. Uh, I got the bigger ones for obviously the adult hangers and then the little teeny ones for the kids hangers. So that was the only other expense to make this hack. And the only other thing you'd need is a pair of scissors or one of these little wire cutters. I chose this because I have tried to cut these before and it's just a lot easier with these little wire cutters. Okay, so basically what this hack says to do is to take these two hangers and put the long sides together like that. Then you use your zip ties to fasten them together. Now they did warn on many of the videos to do it loosely at first, and then once you get everything lined up, then go back and tighten these things. You can put it with the little hooks going up or out that way, or you can put them together with all of them facing down. The choice is yours. So let's give this craft hack a try. Okay, so you line them up so they're about like this, and now we're gonna fasten this and this, and this, and this together. Okay, so they basically said you put the first eight down, then you take the next set of eight, and you lay it again, long side to long side, but line it up so that the long side goes right between those two hooks, okay? So, because you'll also be attaching it to that. Okay, so when you put the second layer on, you're actually, one of them will clip just like the other ones, and then you need to feed it to hook on to the two hooks this way. So that's what I did all around the second layer. Now I'm gonna go back and attach it here as well to hold it secure. Okay, now I'm just gonna see possible spots that I might need to tighten because as you can see, that still looks like it's loose in some areas. Okay, now I'm going to go through and tighten all of these. Whew. 
Voila! Okay, I am pleasantly surprised at how this turned out. It only took me about 20 minutes total to zip tie all of these up and clip them down. And you know what? What's 20 minutes in 2020, really? I mean, it's a blink of an eye. I really like how it came out. The only thing I did notice is the hangers I got from Walmart have this part filled in, and it prevented me from zip tying it tighter in the center. And so when you pick it up, you can see it kind of bends, but these are meant to be hung flat on a wall. And as you can see, it's very secure and just fine that way. And I'm thinking maybe I can actually fold it <laughs> to store it because this thing is a monster. I think it's what, is that three feet? Uh, three, three foot diameter. So um, it holds together fine. You could, if you did get these with this uh, filled in, we could honestly just use a little um, hot glue or what is it? Um, 6,000, E6000 glue or something like that to glue it, but I don't really think it needs it because of, again, if I'm hanging it, it's going to be fine. Now I saw a lot of people who took this a step further online and they spray painted it. I've seen it, it looks gorgeous if you spray paint it silver. I saw someone do that. I saw someone put um, contact paper over foam board and they lined the back so it wasn't see-through, but you could see the, the contact paper design behind it. It was very beautiful. And um, a lot of people put uh, little bells or they put garland or things like that all around it to really highlight it well. And speaking of lights, I've seen them string lights on this too and it looks really nice. So, so far this hack is getting a big <coughs> thumbs up for me. Um, I do like how it turned out and like I said, I think the looseness in the center is because of the style hanger that I got that is all filled in. I wanted to show you some embellishments that I saw online last year. Now the ones I'm gonna show you, I either got at the Dollar Tree or at Walmart. All of them were pretty much under a dollar. Um, these snowflakes you can embellish like I just did real quickly with these red bows. Um, you can wrap this garland around if you'd like, you know, to make it really colorful and sparkly. Sparkly! Um, like I said, you could have this bell laying in the front there. And if you had some more green garland, it would look really cute. I love snowmen. And I would put something, you know, maybe take a little cut of this. And you could take this around and hot glue it. I'm just going to lay it here for now because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I have to think on it a little bit. But have him sitting right in there in the center. That might look cute. Any way you want to do this, there's there's no ends. If you have music lovers, you can, you know, put musical instruments anywhere on this. Um, they had violins. Like I said, you can do anything with it. Okay, as far as craft hacks go, I have got to give this one a big thumbs up. I am pleasantly surprised. I was a bit skeptical. You know, when you see these things on Pinterest, you're like, yeah, right. It's not going to turn out like that for me. But it really is easy. It was relatively fast. Putting it together was, like I said, about 20 minutes. How you embellish it could take another half an hour or an hour. So I'm saying maximum you probably have to put into this is about maybe an hour and a half. You know, give or take how fast you can decorate and how hot your glue gun is, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's easy, it's inexpensive, and it really, I think, kind of looks cute. And the ways you can modify this is by, remember when I said about turning the hooks, having them up? You can do it down, you can, you can angle these in different ways to make a little bit different design. So, you know, like no two snowflakes are the same. You could do that with yours. The only downside that I could ever see with this is storage. There's the organizer and me coming out. It's all about the storage, folks. <laughs> um, this thing is three feet. That, you know, but this is bigger than a lot of wreaths people put on their doors. But one alternative you could do is use the, the kids' hangers and it would make a much smaller snowflake and much more manageable and easier to store, which every organizer is going to like that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. 
poke that like button below. And if you have a craft hack or an organizing hack or a cleaning hack that you'd like me to give a try, leave the link to those hacks in the comments below and I'll check them out. And don't forget, this is just one of two videos I'm uploading today. The other video is a quick tip on how to stay more organized during this holiday season. I will put the iCard up there and I'll also put the link below. And don't forget, I am uploading organizing tips daily for my holiday organizing series, so be sure to check back tomorrow. And maybe to make sure you don't forget, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload one of these videos. See you tomorrow.